Hey everyone, it's Anthony at Ornato. In this video, I wanted to show you how to use the Videolicious app. So what you're looking at now is the uh, screen of my iPad. Uh, so I'm gonna go to my video um, apps here and click on Videolicious. Uh, I've, I found Videolicious um, is extremely useful for putting together really quick videos out in the field or you've come back in the newsroom, you have the clips on your mobile device um, and doing it there. Um, basically, it would be good for using this to put together clips that need to be shared on social media, or it could be a video you're putting together quickly uh, that needs to be embedded in a, um, in a uh, website story. Um, I also know uh, other outlets, um, broadcast outlets have for breaking news, have, the, have had the reporters use this um, to shoot really quickly, um, you know, a stand up and then layer over. Um, images, both still and video. So the first thing you're going to do is, um, you know, you launch the app, you're going to see this screen right here. It gives you the option, which is really nice in the premium version, uh, to insert a logo. So let's say that you're, for example, uh, using this for a campus media outlet, or for example, in my mobile and social media journalism class, we, uh, we manage the site called Ithaca Week. Well, it allows you to upload a logo for your outlet, and that will be the first thing people see on the screen. The premium version, um, in which you'll find this logo option, um, as well as other, other items that you won't find in the free version, is available through the Videolicious um, Educators Program. Uh, so if you're working in a journalism program, definitely, um, definitely check that out. Uh, so first thing, choose shots. This is gonna give you access to your entire camera roll. So let's say uh, I wanna do a mix of B-roll and stills. And I'm gonna choose it in this order. So that's gonna be one, that's gonna be two, uh, oh, I don't know, that's gonna be three, and so on and so forth. This is just random B-roll on my device of uh, my dog, interviews I, I've done out in the field, as well as you know photos, visiting, family kind of thing. So let's say those are my those are my four clips in the order that I want them to appear. The next thing you can do from here is you can click drag on the lower left-hand corner. It'll bring up this, and this will allow me to rearrange the order. Simple enough, right? So if I mess up and I'm like, eh, I actually want you know this image to go over here, I can do that here and then click save. What you'll find in the middle is edit. If you click on that option right there, and then tap one of these icons. So let's say that I want to edit my first. This gives you a number of options. One, it allows you to trim the video. Two, it allows you to place text um, basically in the lower part of the screen. So this was already a default text in there. So basically I can type, you know, okay, this is Leo, Leo the pup, my dog. So this is Leo the pup, right? And then I may want, um, I may want to put, you know, the location where the person is, or in this case, the dog is. So let's say, uh, you know, Ithaca. Okay. Boom. It gives you the option to change the positioning by clicking these three icons on top. But for now, let's just leave it, you know, there on the right, on the left-hand side. So it'll look something like this. The other option you have with title slides, um, or titles, I should say, in general, um, is to do them full screen. So on the upper left hand, you'll see a little icon next to cancel on the upper left hand side of your screen. I'm gonna tap this icon, and this is gonna allow me to actually write text that would cover the entire screen or the full screen. So that is another option. So let's, you know, let's see what this looks like. So Leo the Pop, right? And that's all I want, let's say. Um, again, you can play around with the positioning, but actually what happens when you, when you type the text and then hit position, it actually allows you with your finger to move where you want that. I actually find this more flexible than the previous um, option I showed you. So maybe something you wanna look at in terms of using th that option on the left-hand corner um, using that instead of the, the default one. Okay, so let's say we have, our, uh, we have the order of the images that come up, so we wanna hit save. At this point, it's gonna say, tell your story. This is where, if I click, it's going to open up 
And here I am, right? I wouldn't be wearing the headphones if I was out in the field, but I'm recording this uh, so it gets better audio with these headphones. So this is where I would actually, if I were out in the field, um, open up the camera and start recording basically. Um, so on the lower left hand side to, hit, to start recording, you simply tap that on. It's going to give you a countdown. You see the, the green frame around me. That indicates that, that, that I'm basically live, right? So I'm out at the scene, I'm setting the scene, I'm out at whatever it is, and I'm talking for five seconds, 10 seconds. And then I want my first image to come up, whether that's a still photo or whether that's a video. So I want that to come up. So on the lower right hand side of the screen is where I'm going to tap the images as I talk, as I want them to come up. And so I'm talking about Leo and I want that to come up. And then I want the jar of his uh, treats to come up. And then for some reason I'm talking about uh, the next image, my family, and then we go back so on and so forth to my dog. And then if I wanted to come back so the viewers could see me, the audience could see me at the end, I would just simply tap on this screen. Of course, you got to be careful where you're placing your hand because as you saw, right, the hand was going back out towards the camera. So you have to be a little bit mindful of that. And then you simply click the red button on the bottom, it's gonna create the preview. And as you'll see here, you won't hear the audio because I've turned the audio down on my iPad, but as you see here, as we play through it, you have me on camera, and then the first time I tap that image on the lower right-hand corner, so I do that shortly, that's when you're gonna start seeing those images come up in this, uh, in this final product. Um, so here we go, I'm about to tap the first image, boom, so on and so forth. Um, cute dog. Uh, so I'll stop that there. So if I feel like this is great, I did a great job, all I have to do is save. It's gonna ask you for music, I skip this part, and then it's going to process your video. From there, after it processes your, processes your video, excuse me, it's gonna ask, to Preview it again and then save. And then basically I leave it um, set to Wi-Fi upload HD so it gives you the best quality and then save. And then you title it. It, it selects a thumbnail uh, for you basically, but you can change that thumbnail. Um, so I'm just gonna hit cancel and then, you know, Leo. The pup, let's say, whatever. That's the title of the video, let's say. Boom. I'm going to save it. It's going to process the video. From here, it's going to then, and this might take a little bit to, to process, but from here, it's then going to give me the option to save it to my camera roll. Um, and that's when I would save it to my camera roll. And I'm just going to cancel this for now because I, I want to show you guys one other thing. But I would save it to my camera roll, basically. And then from there, I can decide what I want to do with it, whether I want to share it via social media, whether it's going back to the newsroom. The great thing about the premium version of Videolicious is that any person who's logged into your newsroom's premium version doesn't have to send anything back to the newsroom. It automatically gets stored on uh, the server on the back end. So people in your newsroom can log on from anywhere and access what you just produced. So let me quit this for now. We'll quit that. We'll go back here. And I want to show you one other thing with Videolicious because you do not necessarily have to record your stand up uh, basically in the app. You can actually record your stand up on your device and then bring that in and I'll show you how to do that. So let's say I'm choosing shots again and let's say, you know, this is the order that I want things to come in basically. Um, I'll just, you know, give you this and boom, tell your story. Okay. Um, so basically tell you it, it's loading my camera, right? And this is what I did previously, but let's say I've already recorded a stand up and it's saved on my mobile device. 
the way to access that and to use that as your narration instead of recording live within here, so to speak, live, is on the upper right-hand corner, you're gonna see import. And that is gonna take you back to your camera roll. So let's say, for example, that, and I don't have a stand-up imported in here, but let's say that this, this is, this is the, the audio that I, that I wanna use. Like this is either my stand-up or this is just an interview I wanna use and layer over images. So that is exactly how you would do that, is you simply select from your camera roll the particular thing that you want as your main audio underneath the video, and then you click import and you import that. So boom, import. Um, save, and let me go back here because that's already saved, I believe. Okay, there we go, save. And now I'm simply going to hit this button on the lower left-hand side. And the audio for him is not turned up, but now we hear and see him. And his audio is going to continue, but the minute I tap the lower right-hand corner, those images are going to cover his audio. So you could do the same thing for an interview, but also for a stand-up that you've created. Now let's say I wanna go back to that interview. I simply tap on the big screen and that's it. And then it ends automatically based on the length of that particular uh, clip that you imported to be your main audio. So as you'll see here, he's talking, he's talking. Uh, and once I hit that first video clip to come up, you'll still hear him but you'll see the images come up. So then I can do the same thing. I hit save. I'm gonna skip choosing music. And then I'm going to preview my video. Uh, let's say I preview it. I preview it, it looks great. And then I save it. And from there, it'll save it. And then I can uh, basically have it on my camera roll and share it from my device to either uh, social media or uh, perhaps, you know, drop it in a Dropbox folder on my iPad, which I use frequently, that I can then share with someone else. Um, so that's a quick tutorial on Videolicious.